So to fasten our work material, we're going to use uh, double-sided carpet tape. This is the stuff that you can get from just Home Depot or Lowe's. What we're going to do is put two pieces of this tape on the acrylic that we're working on. And we're going to leave the backing paper on the acrylic as well. So once the tape is on, we're going to peel the backing paper off of the tape. Try to get it to come off one piece. And I recommend that you buy the best quality carpet tape you could find. This stuff here that we're using, um, it's a little challenging. Sometimes the, the material doesn't stick down like we'd hope. So we've got the tape on there. We're going to be cutting this out on our Stepcraft 420 machine. So I've already got a piece of acrylic down as a spoil board so when the bit passes through the bottom of the material it doesn't harm the work surface area. So all I'm going to do here is take the acrylic, I'm going to lay it down on top of the other piece and I'm just going to push down firmly on it and that's not going to move now so that's that's pretty secure it's it's I can cut through the material into the bottom piece of acrylic I'll have a nice finished piece on both the top and the bottom now this Stepcraft 420 machine has our automatic tool changer on it that's this unit here with our HF 500 spindle the tool changer is an add-on that can be added to any HF 500 and what it does it allows you to put a rack of tools on the back of the machine and the machine will automatically select the tool that it needs. In this case here, I've already got an end mill preloaded for this job and I've moved the tool to the XY starting position and I've touched the tool off to the top of my acrylic. So that's all set. Then I come into UCC and C and once I have the machine zeroed out, I'm gonna click the zero all button right here which is going to show a line of zeros on the screen. That means that that is the starting position and it's all referenced. Okay, I'm going to load the file, which I saved on my desktop, and it's called Speaker Adapter. And as it loads, you'll see the preview of it on the screen right here. Everything is all set. I've zeroed out my workpiece. Okay, so as you can see, the piece that we cut out is exactly the same size as the speaker. And we can now take the JL Audio 4 inch speaker and put it in, and the slots are all perfectly aligned for the bolt holes. And we can just mount this right back into the car using the original factory holes.